This is a brand new method for installing Kali Linux with GUI desktop on any compatible Android device. The best part, this guide doesn't require root or custom recovery. All you need is unmodified stock Android device allowing you to install Kali Linux without voiding your warranty. Now with that said, let's get started. The only requirements of this video, you need Android smartphone or tablet running Android 11 or higher, at least 10 GB of storage space. Now for this guide, I'm using my Nothing Phone 3A running the Android 15. However, this guide works on most devices running Android 11 or higher. To install Kali Linux, we will use an application called Termex. Now open your web browser, navigate to the Termex GitHub page and download the latest Termex application. Now make sure to select the file labeled ARM64 V8. Then install the application on your device. Next, open the Play Store, search for Real VNC Viewer, and install it. Next, open Termex and wait for a few seconds for the initial setup to complete. You will see a Termex prompt with dollar symbol. Then follow these steps to prepare your environment. To set up Kali on Android, you need to type a few commands. If you have a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard, Connected to your Android device using USB adapter for easier input. Then type this command to grant storage permission. Then type this command to change the repository mirror to download the packages more efficiently. After that, type pkg upgrade to upgrade the installed packages. You will encounter a few prompts for confirmation. Now keep pressing the written key to accept the defaults. Then install wget by running this command. Once it's done, download the Kali installation script. Then type wget dash uppercase o install dash nethunter dash termex followed by this URL and press the enter key. The URL is case sensitive, so make sure to type it exactly as shown. I will include all these commands in the video description for your reference. After downloading the script, you need to modify its permissions to execute by running this command. Then run the script by executing this command. You will be prompted to select an image. Now choose the full edition for a GUI interface. Now select the first option and press the Enter key. The setup process will take some time. So ensure you have connected to a stable and fast internet connection. To prevent interruptions, increase your device screen time limit to 30 minutes. Then it will start extracting the root FS. It may take around 10 minutes, so be patient. Once the Kali image is downloaded, choose N for no. When asked to delete the root file system, Congratulations, you have successfully installed Kali Linux running on your Android smartphone. Now these are some important commands you need to know. I recommend taking a screenshot for quick reference. To enter CLI mode, type nethunter or simply type nh. Once you enter CLI mode, you will notice that prompt has changed. This indicates you are inside the Kali Linux and you can confirm the latest version by running this command. To test the internet connection, run this command. If everything is set up correctly, you will receive the packets.
To stop the ping command, press Ctrl plus C. The first thing you should do in CLI mode is update the source list by running this command. You will be asked to enter the password, type Kali in lowercase. Now keep in mind, when you are entering the password in Linux, it won't be displayed for security reasons, so type carefully and press enter. Now, this process uses pre-root operation, a user space implementation of chroot. Once the update is complete, you can install tools like fastfetch by running this command. To exit CLI mode, simply type exit and press enter. This will return you back to the Termex prompt. To enter Kali CLI, type NH or NetHunter. It's time to enable the GUI mode for Kali Linux. Before enabling, it's recommended to disable the Phantom Process Killer. We go to Settings. About device and tap build number seven times to activate developer options. Inside developer options, look for disable child process restrictions and enable this option. Then return back to Termex. To start the GUI environment for the first time, type this command and press the Enter key to set a password for the VNC connection. Now keep in mind, if you forget the password, you can rerun this command in the Termex prompt to reset. When prompted, choose No for the View Only Password option. This will start the VNC server automatically. Now make sure to note down the port number as displayed. Then open Real VNC Viewer. Then click the plus icon to create a new connection. In the address field, type localhost colon followed by your port number. Then name the connection and click Create. Now change the picture quality to high and click connect. Enter the password you set earlier and click continue in the top right corner. And voila, you will now see the XFCE desktop environment. The performance of Kali Linux is remarkable, especially considering it runs on Android device, app launch speeds are impressive, and even graphic-intensive apps like GIMP, Krita, and Kden Life work seamlessly. Now once you are done working with Kali Desktop, click the X icon to disconnect the VNC connection, then go to Home screen, check Notifications, and exit the Termex application. Then reopen Termex, type the following command to stop VNC server. To reconnect the Kali Desktop, simply run this command, then use the VNC Viewer to access the GUI again. If you decide to remove Kali Linux from your Android device, disconnect the VNC connection, then stop the VNC server by running this command inside Termex. Then long press the Termex app icon, select App Info, and uninstall the application. Now this will remove both Kali Linux and Termex from your device. In case you want to keep Termex app but remove Kali Linux, 
go to storage and cache and clear storage. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install Kali Linux on Android device. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below. For more information, please check the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.